Hi, my name is Tina Jones. Welcome to the Aspire Centre. We're a training and events hub here on Slough Trading Estate, and we have people come in and use the venue for all kinds of things. Today, we're really excited because we have LG Interiors and All Print Supplies here delivering a brilliant training workshop, and it's a great use of our venue, and we just love these kind of things going on here. Right, okay, so we've all got a piece of uh, LG interior film stuck onto our modules. Uh, if you want to just come back around this way, right? Okay, so we're going to stick on the um, piece on here. And then I'm going to improvise some um, damage which could occur through anybody walking past or brushing past it to uh, to give you a mark that's going to be in the film. So if you can imagine, I'm going to do this quite large scale so you can see the detail that we're going to. So if you can imagine that sort of thing that you'd end up getting, if somebody's walking past with a trolley or with a serving dish or whatever it is that they're taking with them. So the idea is like what we spoke about, to get the shape to be uh, a shape that's not going to lead. You need to remember where you've started <coughs> and where you've finished. And then we're going to take out the piece, which is where we're going to repair. So we need to get the... Uh, I'm going to take this bit back a little bit further just because I've marked into that piece there. So we're going to check the orientation of the material to make sure we can get to follow suit. So we're sticking this over and we're trying to make it so we can see the shape that we've cut out previously. So the idea is we're going to use the, the butt joint, which we did just before lunch, to splice both sides of the repair that we've put on, and then to drop it back in so you can't see it. So again, we're going to start, trying to remember where your point is that you're starting. So we're going through two layers of vinyl, so we want to be a little bit deeper with your pressure. Once you've met back up with your original cutting point. We're then going to peel back the second part, which is the bit we're going to keep. So this is the repair part. We can take off the backing piece that we've used. Then we're going to split back to the edge. remove half of the extra material from the damage we're then going to use the applicator the same way as we did with the butt joint to get this point here to meet right into this corner that's the crucial part of the repair if we can just get it to sit into that shape that means that that's going to stay where we want it to for now We'll then take up the rest of the material. And remove the second half of the repair. To the applicator. So we're checking that we've hit the points that we want to hit. So we're going to work more round from the sides of the material to get it to knit together. So 
got a few little bits of air in there, which we're going to get rid of. It's witchcraft. <laughs> and then we can just give it a... You're going to do that in a second. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how it goes. Wow. You've done this, haven't you? All right. Yeah, you did, yeah. It's a really good example to show That's a client. That's brilliant. Um, if the client wants to damage a sample panel that you've took in to show them, show them maybe a pattern, if you uh, let them damage the panel so they can see how uh, abrasive resistant the actual product is, it then gives you the opportunity to show how you can do the repair. Um, if you flick it over once you've done it on the perspex, it's actually easier. You can see where the, the cut is. Mm. So it's quite effective to be able to show yeah. that way as well. Cool. Do you want to have a try? And I'll keep uh, floating around. Yeah. Any questions? Just give me a shout. Yeah. Okay. It's crucial to use a new blade on your scalpel. Mm. The cutting, as it did with the bolt joints, the crucial part to make sure it needs to get it. Okay, so we just had a quick question being asked about it could potentially damage the surface underneath when we're carrying out the repair. We'd only recommend doing repairs on high energy surfaces. Um, the potential with a low energy surface like a painted wall is that whilst removing the material it could bring the paint away from the wall as well. So that's just a consideration to, to make whilst you're uh, trying to make the decision as to whether a repair of this type is the right option to use. The other option that you've got is to um, put a full new piece on uh, over the top. See how it's just left a little bit of glue behind on there? So what you could do is put the backing paper over there right. and then clean it and then it gives you a better option to stick it down. That's it. And that's fine. Then. It's just about getting that point into that yeah. point there. That's what's going to make the repair key.
Okay, we've just got another quick question as well. So the question is, what uh, difference would it make if it's from a different batch? If you're going to carry out an invisible repair, the best option is to try in an area that's not conceived that you can't see. So if you want to check it out in the corner of the room first to make sure that the batch numbers or that at least the, the print runs the same. The other uh, option is to contact all print supplies who will definitely be able to tell you which batch those come from. Okay? Ever so slightly, your orientation <coughs> just yeah, yeah. make it relaxing enough yeah. like doing yeah. the peel back off again. Are you happy with yeah. that? Yeah. 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 Some more material on the side. Yeah. 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 Happy with that? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Are you happy with it? Yeah, yeah, it's really good. So it's brilliant material, I don't you know, it's just the amazing thing to get away with, Piece of. 
actually, well, I'd already made one cut and then uh, I'll let the go back on it. Right, okay. Take them all. Have you cut down this side as well? Let's get you uh, a yeah. 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 so we'll pretend we've already taken the and gentle again so we're trying not to stress the material feeling like that's it So we're trying to look for getting the material to knit together. This feels like a little lump there. Oh, the you were pencil on it? Teeny bit there. Just slide it out. Just slide it out. I think it'd be alright to get this bit down now. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Quite fast. If you work on your edges, then the centre you can kind of manage. You just push that in and round yeah, and then yeah. give it to get it to seal it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
There's a question earlier that said about batch, batching. Yes, you know, if you do the batch batch. Yeah. So, you know, a good way is what Lee's just done there is, is when you get the one you're going to be actually, when you put the patch over it, yeah. it'll give you a good indication as to whether it's going to give you a, a starting, a good finish anyway. So. Hotels is that what they would do is you guys would go and do the main fitting, and then what we'll do is we'll train up the maintenance guys to go and do spot repairs like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that what happens as they go around do the maintenance, they're already there and they can make sure it looks pristine all the time. Yeah. So it works really well. Yeah. I mean, I've seen a lot of this online and stuff recently. Yeah. 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 Yeah.